after 85 billion of quantitative easing in QE3, we haven't seen the effects for the simple reason that quantitative easing is pushing money into uh, the financial speculative economy. Um, and that doesn't make its way to the small to medium sized enterprise, the job creating sector. Um, so more quantitative easing when we have QE4, QE5, QE6 in the trillions, whatever it is, um, is still not going to get to where the economy needs it to get. Well, what we're seeing from all of the central banks and the banking system in general is policies directed at kicking the can down the road a little bit further and propping up the unsustainable a little bit more. And when the entire system gets a little bit too unsustainable, um, they tend to use fraud in order to, to prop up the system. And so what you see right now is central banks propping up other central banks in order to prop up banking systems um, and really all done under unsustainable, uh, in an unsustainable way, um, just simply kicking the can down the road a little bit further. And to act, it's, it's reached the point right now where it's very, very difficult and tricky to actually um, understand the flows across these, these large banking institutions. And it's all directed at propping up the unsustainable and getting back to business as usual, as the banks know it. It's unbelievable the, the, the lack of accountability um, that the Federal Reserve has, given the importance it has on not only the US economy, but the entire world. And the accountability and the audit trail um, is, is not transparent at all. And the central banking system alongside the banking system are two of the least transparent systems um, that are completely unaccountable out there.